Being an Olympic athlete to me is everything. The biggest thing that it takes to get this far is, is dedication. It's almost time. It's almost time. It's almost time. A skeleton racer pushes a sled at the start of the hill, about 40 meters, jumps on, and then is on for the ride of his life, going up to speeds anywhere between 75 to 85 miles per hour. I had a really big background in track and field, but I had a serious knee injury that kept me from competing. I felt stuck. I didn't really know where to go, so I started to drift into other areas that I was strong in, but I always had an itch to do sports. I did my research one day and, and saw that bobsled and skeleton was the only Olympic sport that took tryouts. For about three years, I trained and competed with Team USA. There was never really anything that really made me feel secure as like, this is my program, this is this, this is that. It's always been a coin flip. A lot of the time, the biggest extreme is like, if you want to compete, you have to pay to compete. When it costs almost a hundred grand to compete a season, it gets very difficult. There were days I didn't have a place to sleep. I had to sell my car for eating money. I didn't have consistent training. Through all of that, through all of those extremes where I could have walked away, I didn't. I made the alternate squad and I was there for an, as an alternate in the North America's Cup circuit. Then, because I have dual citizenship to Jamaica, was recruited by the Jamaicans to go and be their first ever male skeleton athlete. 2016 was my first year on the Jamaican team, and it was everything that I hoped it would be. The last race that I qualified in was the Lake Placid race. I placed the highest that I've ever placed in my career. That in late January, I get a phone call at 5.30 in the morning saying that this country is only sending two athletes, the next country in line is us, congratulations, you're going to the Winter Olympics, and like, I, I cried. I lost my voice that night because I was literally like screaming. I got nervous, I got the, I got the jitters. The stuff that I would watch as a kid all of those athletes come in, the music and everything, and saying to myself, I really want to be there one day, and to be there in that moment. Jamaica is in the building, about to go take a walk. The best feeling ever was being next in line, hearing your country being called, and then being able to walk out in front of everyone. It's like you can't even put it into words. Now, after competing and representing Jamaica at the Olympics, I'm representing my mother's country of Puerto Rico to be the first Olympic skeleton athlete in skeleton for Puerto Rico as well. To have the opportunity to represent both sides of my nationality in the biggest platform of athletics is the new goal for me. I look back and I remember those times when I had nothing, when I had absolutely no guarantees and I decided instead of quitting and like trying to make ends meet someplace else, I stayed here. It was worth it.